on. One. Science! Science, 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 science. Now it can't be science used for anything. Science is about to be achieved. My analysis is not finished. Now it can't be used for anything. Okay. Wait, wait. Do I use the pliers? How do I... How do I... How do I... What? What am I doing? How do I use the plant fiber under the microscope? Uh... Click on the chair to start the analysis. Wait. And wait, get wait. a close-up of My the table. My analysis is not finished. I already did that. And a close-up of the table. We're at the uh, take the f uh, plant fiber from items and click the microscope. We did that. We're now looking at the plant fiber dream. You just... Oh, boy. We're starting this already? No, we, we just did that already. <laughs> You just not... put two hacks to come. No, that's not what I'm asking. So, yeah. I was asking, what what am I supposed to do with the scalpel and the tweezers? <laughs> to get a piece of stained rope. Yeah. Okay, I I realize it's rope, but how the scalpel isn't doing anything. Use tweezers. I just said tweezers. Okay, it's. These rope fibers are clearly <laughs> hemp. Now about the Yes, I'm um, gonna what? collect a rope with a scalpel. You, you, you oh, just watch the recording. You'll see me flail with the tweezers for a few seconds and be like, what? Okay, now what do we do? Hmm, very interesting. And that oh. says everything else. Oh, oh, place the stained rope on the small plate on the analysis setup on the left. Let's see if I can obtain a reaction with the help of my chemicals and apparatus. Take now the it can't bottles. be used for anything. Start. Water. Solvent. Now it can't be used for anything. Mm. What the? What the? Holmes, are you a mage? Are you an alchemist, Holmes? Are you a wizard? You'd be a wizard, Harry. This is evidently coal soot mixed with water, and given the absence of any salt particulates, it must be fresh water. Uh, well, so it's going to be his head, but I like from a rope. They were saying between the black sun and the coal soot mixed with water, the water is fresh, as I found no presence of saline. Okay. Now it can't be used for anything. Fish scales under the microscope. According to this monograph, the f uh, I found a footage of that of a perch, a saltwater fish of high commercial value. Okay, I pulled up the scale. What am I supposed to do now? Uh, uh, click on it with a microscope, use the tweezers again. And, and then it just gives me the perch thing. Yep, and read the report. Okay. And what's the meatball one? ignited but failed to burn completely. There are, without a doubt, mustard seeds present, probably in exotic form. What could be the other components, I wonder? Oh, okay.
Okay. Let's see if I can obtain a reaction with the help of my chemicals and apparatus. Okay, uh, acid? Spirit. Now it can't be used for anything. Now it can't be used for anything. Okay. Now it can't be used for anything. Now it can't be used for anything. Oh, okay. Now it can't be used for anything. Acid, okay. Perhaps if I apply heat? Okay, now we apply the heat. Now we get the matches and we burn it. So we broke the little black ball thing and it produced the effects that we were looking for. And then we use the science to centrifuge it. Yay. Wizard! How did he know that the guy was kidnapped by two people? How did he know one was Hindi? Incredible. I note a strong presence of opium blended with a concentrate of morphine. The remaining elements are a mystery to me. So it's opium. A small lump of the battery shake now is case opium. Blend it with a strong distill. I mean, it comes out of the mixture. So it's opium. I should look from the window and see where Watson is. Watson, what are you. <laughs> Watson's being a skin flint with the kid. <laughs> Watson's being a skin flint. Give me the information, you little shit. I'll be you. I'm Watson. A good lad. How does it go? Hello, sir. My associate, Sherlock Holmes, Hello, said sir. you might have information for him about... about... Uh, now, what was it? The Princess Gav. He was looking for the scuttlebutt on this here princess what we visiting. Exciting goings on. Her bodyguard went missing the first morning after she got here. Nice job to look after a princess's body, isn't it, sir? They say Dang. he went out on a town having a go with the ladies, if you get my meaning. Dang. Like as not he was trapped by some gang of toughs. Otherwise, who'd get the best of him? A proper giant he was by all accounts. Do I get me coins then, sir? Oh, thank you, sir. Obliged, I'm sure. Wow. So by the time it took Holmes to do all this science, Watson is... Oh, now we're playing as Watson. There's no sign to say that. Oh, now you're playing as Watson. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Yay. Wow, we can get really close to the NPCs. I never want to be this... Also, it's the... I don't know I don't like the look of you, guy. But it's not talk now. At least he doesn't say beep beep. The beep beep guy was just weirdly annoying because of the beep beep part. It was just like, cat meat, cat meat, come buy your fresh cat meat. I would have been like, that's funny. He's selling meat for cats, not meat of cat. Good morning. Has your sprain improved? Good morning, Dr. Watson. It is slowly showing improvement. What can I do for you? Would you happen to have a book on the Maoris? If I have one available, it would be on that bottom shelf. Although, I'm not sure if I still have that particular book. Please don't trouble yourself. I will look for it. Okay. What is, why are you, did you just decide to become nice to these kids later on? Did you decide it was not worth fighting with the kids constantly? <sighs> well, I'm looking for a book now. There we go. Oh, in particular, pictorial writing in the soil and express much more than a simple artistic expression. First, one must realize that the dreams are the center of the Maori spiritual base. According to the ancient tribal dogma, all men live in the vast universal dream world, and our individual dreams represent our kingdom of the invisible sacred spirits, which are all around us. When the Maori is a particularly notable dream with prophetic or moral value, he draws important moments of his dream in a symbolic fashion on the soil. The drawing is interpreted by the tribal shaman who can order radical change in tribal life depending on what the dream tells him. This behavior may seem in 
seem incredible to those born in the civilized world. We require substantial effect and cognition, sometimes too much, before the changing important aspects of our lives. But our scientific vision for the last 10 years reveals several interesting things. First and foremost, not all Maori dreams do inspire these drawings. Secondly, when drawings are made, fewer are found to have true symbolic meaning of events that will affect our life. Thus, these prophetic occurrences are quite rare. Furthermore, as mentioned earlier, in these wild and inhospitable lands, the interpretation of a dream as prophesying great change is unlikely to be a great shock as nature does little half-heartedly in such places. The shaman is going to understand that if a particular spirit condescended to send a message to his people by a dream, it is a matter of their very soil. Thus, we wrote the following conclusion. Has not our own sophisticated Western world dampened these same primitive people's sense in ourselves, deeming them wrongly, in my opinion, lowly and unworthy? Wow. Uh, man, okay. Uh, for can we, with all our scientific tools and superior knowledge, foresee the many disasters that hail down on us with the same reliability? The apocalypse must happen one day. Wow, random. I am sure that the first warning sign will not be found in our August scientific or governmental quarters, but in the lone drawings of a naked and illiterate aborigine in the fine soil of the bush. Perhaps he will have time to seek shelter for his people. As for us? Question mark. Yep. And this is that kind of condescending. Man, there's so much going on there and so, just so much. Condensation. It reminds me of... Good day. Goodbye, oh. Doctor. Watson's going to not have kept the book because it was weird. That's going to turn out to be. Let's go to homes. We got to run down Baker Street. The Strand! The Are Strand! Boy, the song? Strand! We walk up past Miss Hudson's room. We go to the second floor, which is Holmes' room and our room. We go in and talk to Holmes. Holmes, what on uh, earth did you say to Barnes to put him in such a state? What do you mean? Not now, Watson, although I'm sure wait, this bit of news is most significant. It must wait. We are piecing together a singular affair. This abduction story is much more complex than it appears. As I noted before, our next move is to locate the place of employment for one of the villains who abducted the young Maori. Hmm. What part of London would such a man call home? What? What? I have no idea. What? What part of London does one of the two kidnappers of the young Maori come? Does it tell you in the guide? Uh, type using the keyboard docks or wharf or Thames. Wharf. Uh, click yes, check mark. Watson, there is little room for doubt. Orb. Our Orb. man is a barge man who works at the Thames River wharfs. He is more precisely employed to transport and handle fish brought in by various ships. Our next step is obvious. We must find a cab and make haste to the Thames near the warehouses. Yeah, the Thames. Okay. See, okay, that makes sense because the wharf and the fish stuff. But there, there wasn't really a lot of clues that that was what we were going for. Like, it was it an actual district? Like, Whitechapel is an actual district of London, or is it, like, London itself, which is a district of London, the greater metropolitan area? London makes up a huge area, and then there's the city of London, which is its own thing, blah, blah, blah. Like, there's a lot going in there. Also, the whole Maori thing just reminded me of how some people are like, oh, this culture is so much superior to our Western culture because it doesn't have this or this. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, my goodness. It's that cultural elitism. Good day, Mr. Holmes. And have your own culture that I find really weird sometimes. Wow, this is... Let's go. Huh. 
Also, the weird ruins are there. Why did oh, we come here, still? Holmes? Don't worry about it. Brr, it's rather sinister here, and so wow, that pause. Precisely, Watson. Ah, good. Here's a pub. We can warm ourselves inside. Excellent, Holmes. A pub. Oh, hey, Watson. Right outside, there's garbage. You can get in there. <laughs> no, you're not like that, Jim. You're special. I'm sorry, gentlemen. This is private property. There's no entry here. Wow, that's not what I expected. You're not that type of Watson. You're the good type of Watson, like the Watson from... Wow, he's got a cricket mallet. Like from the good Sherlock Holmes series. This good day to you, good sir. One, but it's Could still... you serve up two of your best pints and some information, if you please? My pleasure, sir. What can Ooh. I do for you? My friend and I are looking for a man who works one of the fishing boats at the docks. The name of the ship escapes me, but I do know for certain fact it has a coal-fed boiler. In truth, there are dozens of such boats that lay anchor here every day. <laughs> what can you tell me about the look oh, of him? Was good. Only that he is a robust man about this size, wearing iron soles. Little help there. You've just described half of my customers. I have nothing for you. Here now, look for the man called Harper. He lives in a house not far from here, after the bridge near the warehouses. You can't go wrong finding his place. It has a large anchor painted on it. Oh, thanks. Either way, I am in your debt. Please tell me, for curiosity's sake, what troubles your friend? He's been waiting ever so long for a new wooden hand. It was to be here yesterday, but still no sign of it. He is quite low and has taken to the drink. The devil! Last night a nasty flea woke me, and me with only the hook on me scratching hand. <laughs> He's. And to add to me worries, imagine. Why that voice? Worms. Well, he's a drunk. Yes, Graham says what it was. A sudden attack in the middle of the night. Again with only the one hand and that blasted hook on the other. Hit me misery. I used the wrong hand. <laughs> Lord, I was unable to so much as sit for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> well, he used the hook to again, scratch his butt. You. Have a nice day. He used the hook to scratch his butt, Dream. I have no reason to go there. Wow. Does that mean he cut his butt from scratching it? Yep. That's exactly Aww. what it means. How is he sitting down? It was last year. Oh. I do miss the ambience from Jack the, the Jack the Ripper game. It, it added a lot. This yeah, it's just, super quiet. Yeah, this by the yeah, this is just Yeah, that's the problem I think with this game. It, it's super quiet or it's super loud at times and I that's what I kind of wanted to, I wanted to do the Jack the Ripper one as a Patreon one where I wanted this one as public cuz I think this one is a great way to show this is what the game's like and if you enjoyed this even though it's not the meh, 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 Greatest ever. Uh, go check out the better. Oh, hey, some birds. And there's a boat. Just a creepy boat. Just moving along. Go inside the boat. Can't. Be the captain of the boat. Can't. Oh, hey, there's an anchor. Customs. Ah, boo. Closed. Tight. No one is here. I saw you, child. Eh, yeah, run, child. Beat him. Get your Excuse in, me get for your disturbing him, you, Holmes. but I'm looking for a man named Mr. Harper. Do you know him? He lives just opposite you. He gone. Boat. Boat. Watson, I know this accent. These people are Nepalese, and as luck would have it, I am familiar with this dialect. What? Why Nepalese? are you? Nepalese? What? Holmes, are you sure? How? Why? Ah, Neto. Bo Petro. 
Toro Mitro. Toka. This woman says her family has what? suffered a grave misfortune. This <sighs> altar is for her son, a lad of 16, who disappeared just one week ago. Could he have run away to sea or some other youthful adventure? Il koga bratsein, but presinda kum. <laughs> it just says Nepalese in the subtitles rather than actually was giving seen in the area dialogue. Making just inquiries Nepalese. about her son and their family. The man worked at the docks and had a silver eye. Yes, exactly. He was a vile man with one silver eye. Malinhe gas. I just love it. It's like in Nepalese. It just says Nepalese, or shows what he's actually saying. It just says Nepalese. She it's also so says her son's belongings are on this altar. She says we may examine them and take anything that might help find her son. But what does this have to do with Captain Stenick's servant? Watson, do you really... The dude was keeping the servant there and not paying him, but keeping the money in the... In-game Watson, you deserve that. Out-of-game Watson, a.k.a. my dream, does not. Also, mm. pets the Nepalese lady. No. Petro, Hidoka. Okay, let's see. This is not Nepali. It looks like silver, but judging by the weight, it's a fake. Also, I just I just want to point out that randomly Holmes knows Nepalese of all the languages. That's a very particular language to know. Indeed. That's why I pointed out. Ironically enough, it does, it's not the weirdest thing. It makes sense. Holmes knowing a lot of really weird esoteric languages makes sense because he's the type of guy he is. No one is here. This old rope seems intact. No trace of soot present. Can't pick that up, okay? I guess that book's gonna be important later. Oh, hey, look. Is that a random American? Or a Bobby? Oh. That sounds like he had a good time, and now it's gone to be a bad time. That didn't sound very good. Well. At least he's wiping it off on his good coat. Mm -mm. And there's a random steamboat over here. Let's talk to the drunk. Watson, it appears this young man is mm. Be a good man and see how serious it is. <laughs> good man and serious. Here man. now, my young man. Let's have a look at you. Oh, oh, Holmes. This man isn't ill. He's drunk. He fairly reeks of alcohol. Oh. Really, Watson? Oh, I wasn't making a joke. Fault. You didn't realize that? I swear it. Oh, oh my head. Oh, this gang of young toughs. They forced it on me. <laughs> they forced me to get drunk. They stole, and then they my, stole parcel. my parcel. What? What's that? You say you were forced to drink. Explain this and spare no details. This is amazing. Yesterday afternoon, I, forced them to get me drunk. I was given a parcel to deliver to an address not far from here. I was near the warehouse district when a, a gang of young lads attacked me. Before I could think, they drew knives and gave me a bottle, telling me... If I valued my life, I'd better drink it all. Well, let me tell you, I drank without stopping. I became giddy. And then I must have passed out. I remember nothing else except waking up a moment ago, finding myself alone, my parcel gone. But what could they have wanted, Holmes? It's obvious, Watson. They were seeking some poor soul on whom to test their vile concoction. Tell me, could this bottle be the one they gave you? I can't say. It could be. 
awful ill just looking at it. Hmm, it has a unique flavor. Rather tasty, I might add. There's no mistaking my senses. This contains turnips. In fact, a liberal amount. But where are you off to, Holmes? Watson, it is time to seek out the distillers of this unique brew. If they are located in this district, they may have much to tell us. What? 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 Turn up brew? Turn up booze? Turn up booze. I'm still trying to process the turnip booze. Wow, this area is actually fairly big. We're going to be revisiting here a lot, I can already tell. Yeah. 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 Is yeah. my puppy sleepy? A little. Did you have a long day? Do you need me to pinch your nose to be you some be like cuddles? Yeah. Yeah? Aww. Mm hmm We are lost. You need help you? Not yet, these. We can do the seas. We're the smart seas. Okay, Z. Gazy. Daisy. 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 Give me your answer, please. Sheesh, this area is huge. And the deserted thing really adds a creepy factor to this. Wow, we just went on a big loop. Okay. Daisy, Daisy, I don't know where we're. What the heck? Okay, that's gonna that break. That part it. of the warehouse seems an ideal place to hide, but it would be difficult for anyone to get there. That part of the warehouse seems an ideal place to hide, but it would be difficult for anyone to get there. Oh. Well, come on, Watson, hurry up, keep up with the rest of the group. Come on, Watson. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. I do like the, the little splish splash when you run in puddles. Hello to you again, sir. I won't waste time. We have discovered new details that may lead us to this elusive seaman. Most significantly, the man has a missing eye and wears a silver ball in its place. By God, that can be no other than Dirty Summers. A nasty brute, that one. Where could one find him? 
He must have signed on with a ship, because he was here last night looking to hire some men. How did he behave while he was here? Do you mean to he hire me some men, or do you mean to hire some men? Curtain. During his time here, men of all sorts came and went seeking positions. However, he seemed nervous and fearful as his knife was unsheathed and ready the whole of the night. Huh. May I examine this table behind the curtain? Certainly, if it will help. What does this get behind the curtains now? Why, Watson, why are you that close to me? You're not dream. You're not allowed to be that close. Mm, good. Oh, good. He's carving J. Simon. He's carving ruins. These cuts seem quite recent. There are four symbols. Pub symbols. Good. Now we have them. Yay. But where are you off to, Holmes? Watson, it is time to seek out the distillers of this unique brew. Where are we going to find the distillers of the unique brew? Have you found anything of importance, sir? <laughs> Little frog. That would be. A, I would love that to be my bar sign. That, that little frog with a little suit. Okay. Okay, now we need the guy, because I have no idea what we're supposed to do now. Now we're at the point where we need the guy, because I have no clue. We need to find the distillers of this brew. Mm, okay. Oh, We're also at a place called the Cursed Mermaid. Have you found anything of importance, sir? Excuse me, sir. Could you... I am in no mind to talk. Leave me to my drink. <sighs> Does this mean anything? Have you found anything of importance? No, I can't ask him. I think that's a, another thing. Like you can't, of course, ask people questions. They just, when you have new information, you just go talk to them. There's no question asking. We've talked to the Nepalese people, and just we need to know what to do next. Uh, did you go to the Harper House? Harper? Yeah, we went to his house. We can't open it. No one is here. Okay, uh, in the bar, did you, uh, talk with the man with a silver eye? Uh, no, he's not there. Oh. So you're saying the man with the silver eye shows up at the bar, correct? Yes. Okay, so we're, we're before that. Yes. Because you're supposed to find out about uh, Dirty Summers. Yeah, we found out about him from the bartender. Oh, then, um... Oh, my aching head. I feel terrible. Adventure games. Did you get a... So, did you get the rope, the silver pelican medallion, and the bottle of moonshine? Yes. So, you gotta go back uh, to the Nepalese house. Uh, past the sick postman. Turn right from the tower. Go forward and up the stairs. Enter the alley between two buildings at the end of the path. So uh, go right from the tower, go up the stairs. Yes. Okay, and then what? Enter the alley between the two buildings at the end of the path. Okay. I've entered here. Walk on the plank that is on top of a hole. Okay, I've done that, yes. See the yard littered with bottles and Turnips under tarp. Yeah, I see them. Holmes makes a comment about hiding 
under Sir, the left what about tarp. It? I am missing something. Okay, so I guess we hide under the tarp? Uh, the tarp on the left. Take the moonshot bottle from the items and click to open the door. Oh, so it wants us to use the moonshine in the bottle. So? I assume this is your special recipe? Okay. That depends on who's asking. If it's the law, then I have nothing to do with this. If you're a customer, two shillings gets you a taste. A fair price indeed. Unfortunately, this vintage is a bit full-bodied for my taste. But I would be very happy to recover a parcel that went missing near this very spot. Click on the door again to get the parcel. He gave me the parcel. Okay. So, what about it? I am missing something. Yeah, I have the parcel now. Uh, take the medallion from items, then click on the door. Okay. What? One other thing. Have you seen this before? Yes, I saw it. One of the dock workers, an odd sort, gave it to a gang member, Brannock. He wanted Brannock to join their gang, or oh, I don't know okay. what. Must have been nigh on two weeks ago. Two days later, he went missing, and not a word since. Well, that's this man who gave your friend the pendant, can you describe him? Not very tall, strong, wearing a red cap, and he with a hair lip. You could likely hair find lip. him wow. here, whereas 12, he told Brannock he worked there. Thank you. By the way, my friend the postman feels badly used. You should change the recipe. Oh, I was sure of that. Turnips weren't near rotted enough. Maybe they need a longer soaking in the gutter water. Now, off with a pair of you. <laughs> wow. This is the most horrific combination of things. Gutter water, rotting turnips. Oh, turnips already don't taste the greatest. This turnips is... are bad. Yeah, they don't even go good in soup. Soup is gross too. The trash panda disagrees! <laughs> the trash panda is also ugly. Okay, now what do we do once we have the package? Go back to the bar, I'm assuming? Yes. Yay! I was right. Once we get back to the bar, then we'll do things. Yeah. Maybe things that are gonna make the barman be like, "Okay, I can charge shillings for this." Have you found anything of importance, sir? Do I just show him the package? Uh, da 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 da. da. You combine the knife. Uh, with the parcel to get a fake hand with scraper. Oh, hey. We got a fake hand with a scraper. And give it to the drunken man. Yay. Oh, I didn't need you to tell me that once I saw what it was. I was like, oh, okay, so we're just opening the parcel. Good news, sir. Here is what you were waiting for. <laughs> Here's your hand. Yay! Now I can scratch my butt. Well, maybe you shouldn't use a hook. Maybe you should use your other hand. Wow, he immediately goes to scratching his butt. Oh, thank you, sir. I could kiss you. Are those knives? Here now, you can't just leave this laying about like that. <laughs> He's literally got well, knife like fingers. Scrapers are what it is. Well, come now, let's celebrate with a, a drink. And that got us a hook. Okay. I want to get a look at that. I thing. wonder if he's they got, look the at those, fingers. Look at those. Those are little like chisel things. I mean, I guess it's better than a hook. This should prove useful. I guess. I guess they're probably like sharp or something rough. Huh, man. 
the, the fact that this game does have the whole creepiness of it just being quiet and stuff does add to its ambiance in its own way. Rather than the sound, which I think was kind of needed for the whole, you know, Jack the Ripper. Now we have a hook. What are we doing with this hook? Uh, uh go back to the tower, close the man. Uh, left or right of the tower? Uh, well, it says that, or use the map to go to the Napoli's house. Take the path to the left of the tower and right of the ship with the big wheel. Okay. What am I looking for around here? Um, a door, but go forward and turn left to see a green door. Check the warehouse number on the top right of the building. Turn right forward and again turn right to the next path so we're just looking for warehouse number 12 is all i'm hearing uh yes hmm. what a pity the window is closed and the front door is barred we must gain entry but how but why in blazes are we breaking in our homes Shh, what i'm breaking entering because homes i am sherlock holmes and i will do things my way So I found the... Oh, hey. Yes, there is something here. Yes, there is something here. Yes, there is something here. So what do I do now that I've got... I've, I found the warehouse? Wait, what? I found the warehouse. Warehouse number 12. Yay! Cool. Yay, screw. What do I do now while well, I'm here? Uh, hold up. I gotta be right back. No! We finally found it! What do I do? Hmm, what a pity. The window is closed and the front door is barred. We must gain entry. But how? But why in... Yes, there is something here. Yes, there is something here. Hmm, what a pity. But why in bl- The Nepali- Okay, good. We have where I was 12 on the map, though. Let's go to the Nepalese house. Oh, no, I want to- Petro, hit your car. What? You again? I don't know anything else. A piece of advice. People should... What? I am back.